So in Australia I bought property several times. I'm sharing my understanding and practical advice. So you should think twice before buying this kind of properties. Number 1 is apartment or unit. So the net rental yield is very low after you consider the owner's contribution um, to the strata and the maintenance, insurance, etc. So due to popular housing demand, the builders often finish these buildings very poorly and jump on to the next one. Recently there are many evidences which shows that people lost their hard earned money due to the building infrastructure problem and they were not compensated well enough. The second kind of property is the off the plan units. So these are the kind of worst because first of all there are uh, no established market before building this kind of properties and also you don't know the market price or how much people are willing to pay for this. So in all cases the builders reap the benefits. and the third kind of properties is never build properties in a new development area often these properties don't rise as per the expectation as the new area does not have established popular school train station etc so it takes years to see a decent capital gain and the fourth kind of is never buy an old townhouse or apartment it is very common that after 15 years it requires a lot of money to repair this house so you will end up spending a lot of money but your net capital gain or your net uh, profit for the every month after you get the rentals is very very low and the last one is never buy an old house yeah although people say that you buy a run down house and then repair it and then sell it to the market but the cost of repair in australia is very very high and the chances are you need to renovate this house and rebuild as if new so you will end up paying a lot of money So the question is what to buy you should buy a property that has the growth potential in a good location and there will be lots of buyers who would like to buy your house so there will be no major maintenance required at least for the next 5 to 7 years so to get more practical money advice and videos like this subscribe to this channel you will be notified my latest video thank you